Hello, Sash Gang. I hope you all are doing great today. My name is Nati. So I was just talking right into y'all energy. I want you all to take that fix. Tell me what does not. If anything does resonate with you, Sash Gang, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Scott Rose is needed. Also, Sash Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the little like comments. Thank you for the support. <laughs> thank y'all for everything that y'all do to help the channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. All right, so I'm going to do one more shuffle. And we're going to hop into the energy for Sagittarius. Ooh. So there's a tower storm or a natural disaster here. Okay, so there is someone who is thinking about calling you a natural disaster because you're too much at peace. Like you're relaxing or something here. Okay. Someone is trying to survive or someone is trying to stay afloat in their life. But I feel like you're very well balanced here, Sag. So I feel like you're very well balanced. You're doing some sort of relaxation. You're reading up on something here. Um, you can be reading up on your spirituality or your spiritual... The spiritual aspect of you is what's causing some sort of peacefulness or humbleness in your life. Um, and there's someone who's daydreaming about causing you some sort of master disaster. Maybe because you're getting uh, some sort of blessing in your life. so Or some sort of good news coming in for you here. So I feel like there's this bully that wants to cause you a time moment. I feel like this person wants to embarrass you, gossip about you. Or cause you some sort of conflict here. Or come to your house. Wow. Who is this? So someone, someone is really thinking about causing a tower for you. Because they are having a tower. They could be arguing with someone. They could be arguing in a home here. Uh, they could live with someone. They could, live, they could be in a karmic situation. Someone is bullying someone here. There's evidence of this person bullying someone here. Maybe they bully everyone that they're around. Maybe they're bullying someone that they live with. This person is thinking about coming and bullying. Like, this person is ready to come towards you to bully you. They want you to give them some sort of guilt. Or maybe they know you're coming into some sort of blessing or some sort of abundance here. You're at peace. And I feel like this person wants to come in to... To get some sort of gift from you after y'all have been separated and are talking, seeing eye to eye, they wanted to come in all of a sudden to be a friend. But they do, they are still tied in a karmic situation or a karmic dynamic that is causing them to be where they are not able to be with you or see you. But I do feel like they are kind of hesitating on this decision that they're making or that they're thinking about making or that they want to make or that they are daydreaming to make. Um, maybe because they are already in a commitment or that they are trapped or that um, maybe they're just like, should I do this or should I not? Should I cause some sort of conflict or should I not? They could be family. There could be family commitments that this person is in. They could already be in a family dynamic. You could be feeling lonely here. Maybe you're coming into some sort of new love or some sort of new person. There's something that hasn't been growing with this person because maybe they withdraw from you because of a family dynamic or because of a karmic or someone who they have a family with. Or maybe you withdraw from them. Okay. Some of y'all are going to be withdrawing from family members or from smoking soon here or from friends as well. Okay, but I do feel like you are having some sort of sweet dreams here. Maybe you're saving, you're coming into a big lump sum of money. And you're not, um, you're not putting anything towards this person or investing into them. Maybe they could be a bully towards some parents, okay? Maybe they can live with their parents or their family members. They've been bullying their family members. I feel like y'all are finna do something like something peaceful. Maybe y'all are finna start hanging out with your friends. Uh, maybe there's about to be a spa day or a treatment. There's about to be some sort of game that you're finna have here, okay? And I feel like... You're gonna withdraw from this person. It might become kind of awkward. 
once you withdraw, maybe they're not going to see this coming here. Maybe they've been watching you in a laptop or a computer or something. Okay, but you need to be cautious of this person. Maybe they're having some sort of accident. Maybe they're getting in a fight with their family or their family members or some sort of karmic that they have a family dynamic with and they're going to be coming towards you feeling like they can gain from you. Um, maybe this person has some sort of addictions here. Uh, maybe a drinking or a smoking addiction. I feel like you're researching or you're able to study up on all of this here, what is going on with this person. Someone could have a disability. Someone could be having issues with their vision or wear glasses. Someone... Some of these people now, they're thinking about hurt, harming their family to be in a third-party situation. Or withdrawn from their family to be in a third-party situation. They're getting ideas here. Okay, so just take that how it fits, but... <clears throat> What I'm seeing is that y'all are sleeping. Y'all are at some sort of peace in your life. There's about to be a big increase or some sort of big investment. Uh, but watch out for this person. Because you're going to come into a big investment. Then here comes this person. Okay. They're going to want to leave their family, hurt their family, harm their family, withdraw from their family, ghost their family. But they're still going to have some sort of commitment to their family. So yeah, they're going to want Maybe this could be someone in your family Someone in your family could have gotten in a car accident here uh, But this person is going to want Everyone to win Or like I said, they're going to try to This is like someone who enjoys being with you Enjoys being with their family Or enjoys being with the karma Or enjoys being with you they really want all of you, okay, uh, you and the Carmen, they want both of you. So they're going to try to figure out some sort of situation here to get away from their family. Maybe someone in their family has had an accident. They want to come towards you or there has been an accident in their family, okay. I don't know. But this person is wanting to come towards you here because you're coming into some sort of big investment here. I do feel like this person, maybe their family haunts them, or this karmic haunts them, or they're scared of this karmic, or they're scared of the karmic. They want to come towards you, really, but they're feeling trapped stuck or bound with a karmic or a stalemate. This could be somewhere in their family, a feminine energy. There has been some sort of fight here, or there's going to be a fight with the karmic. Maybe they, they, they're going to be scared of the karmic. They're about to have a tower here. <clears throat> Maybe the karmic has caught them something in the phone. Or maybe they're going to call you after a fight here to come towards you, all right? But I feel like you're going to be self-indulging or focusing on yourself, your mind, body, and soul, or your peace here. Because you've waited up on this person for so long, but they've ghosted you for this karmic or this family here. Okay, so they had some sort of love bond with this family member or karmic that they just completely left you or ghosted you. Alright, um, now they're going to be kind of desperate to come back in because there's about to be a big fight or some sort of argument with the karmic or disagreement. They've been longing for you anyway, but they've been trapped, stuck, or bound in this connection with this stalemate here. Um, maybe they've been guarded in both connections, or maybe they were guarded with you. Maybe now they're going to be guarded with the karmic after this fight. They've, friends and family know about this. Friends have been 
get, they've been getting advice from their friends here, maybe about where it's staying at with you or what should they go back towards you. This could be someone who was married, a married man or a married woman, or this was someone who you was trying to take things to the next level with. They could let family get in the way here. Their family or this karmic is trash. Okay, they were trying to fool you and the karmic at one point, but now they're realizing that they really want to put things back together with you. They could be planning on traveling to see you. There could be travel going on. Maybe someone has to travel or there could be plans of a romantic getaway here. Someone's going to go someone or someone doesn't know if they should go with someone or travel with someone or go on this romantic getaway. So some of y'all are going to end up going on this romantic getaway alone or maybe that's what you're thinking here. Maybe you don't know what things are going to stand at with this person or there's some sort of trip that's about to come up here. Okay, um, they're trying to make solid moves to get away from the karmic so y'all can go on a trip. Okay, so maybe they they can live with their family members or they can be married. There's some sort of accident or maybe they're worried about an accident. They want to travel with you. They want to be with you. They want to travel to come see you. Okay, so someone is making plans to travel here. They're trying to get away from the karmic. This this family member or this karmic has 99 problems here. They're not really confessing the problems that they're having in this family dynamic, but... It's something to where they're scared to leave the karmic, they're scared of the karmic, they're scared to travel away from the karmic, but there's some sort of trip, I'm telling you, there's some sort of romantic getaway, some trip for you to go see them, okay, but for some of y'all, y'all are going to end up going on this trip alone, or that's what you're thinking, like, I should just go on this trip alone here, okay, this person's not keep, they're not telling you the truth about what's going on here, okay, this could be a child, or they could have a child with this karmic, this could be a... They could be, this could be a parent. This person could be responsible for watching their parent here, okay? And they want to travel with you, this masculine, okay? But they're not telling you the truth here. They can't really travel with you. They can't go a long distance. So some of y'all are end up going to go on this trip alone here. Y'all might end up going with a secret person. <laughs> y'all might end up going on this trip with someone secret here. They're not going to be able to travel with you here. Because the rival, this can be a parent, a sibling, a sister. It's someone who they have to watch, take care of, or as a child that's going to get hurt. They're going to have to tend to the child. Something is going to happen to where they are going to be either fighting, tending to the child, fighting with the karma, trying to calm things down over there. Maybe afraid to leave home. Maybe they can't leave home because they can't travel a long way. Uh, away from this mother or this family member they're tied down in the commitment here and you're going to be going with yourself or sneaking around with someone new here but if anything resonates hit that like button comment subscribe to the channel squad rose meeting and until next time stage game bye